Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Kyle and I make reactions to movies and TV shows. Da -da. Today we're heading back into Black Sails. A lot happened in the last episode. I felt so bad for Max. Even though I very much like Eleanor, I just felt so horrible for Max. The only reason that I can kind of look past it with Eleanor is I feel like I relate to her a lot. I don't know why, I just I feel like I do and I like her for it. Flint was not in a lot of last episode. Um, he was hunting down Silver, but we did get a quick glimpse of what maybe his life off of the ship looks like. Is he married? Does he have a long-term girlfriend? What's going on there? I'm not entirely sure. I wonder if he has kids. Huh. Um, <clears throat> and then Silver, he destroyed the map and he is now going, I, I'm guessing they're going to make him like a part of the crew. I don't know. I don't think that they would go so far as to like torture him for the information and then just let him go. I think he's going to become like a part of the crew and give them pieces of information that kind of gradually leads them to where this, uh, million dollar ship is i'm not entirely sure but let's see what's going on let's see who's going to betray who who's going to backstab who uh who's going to be the weasel that they are who i'm I'm talking about jack i'm looking at you jack i i i don't know i'm i don't know okay like if you would like to like full version will be in the description down below and let's get to some pirating people three Really, these episodes have such catchy titles. I feel like white is a bad color for you, considering how much you tend to bleed. Okay, so what are you to each other? Tell me. You're dripping blood across my floor. See, this is what I meant. White, probably not a good idea. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh! Oh dear. This one ain't not as bad as it looks. Mm -hmm. <coughs> one of my neighbors must have witnessed your arrival last night. They've planted a spy out by the scrub pine. What is it? I found him. Oh, she knows. We found a schedule. No, oh, he's just giving it away, like all of it, right away, all at once. Oh, okay. Hmm. Maybe they threatened to cut his balls off. That'd motivate me. She's gone, are you sure? She said Max had a boat waiting. I went to check. It's no longer there. She chose this, not me. Oh dear. Eleanor, I'm behind you. But don't take drastic steps. Something wrong. You better be worth it. Middleton. They might like it. Whatever they are, I don't think they're on good terms. She seems very cut off. Yeah, given how long it's taken to track him. I had wondered if it was a lost cause. You seem disappointed. Mm. I was hoping to have you all to myself. This ain't no joke, Jack. And someone's got to answer for it. I assure you all, what happened last night was as disappointing to me as it was to you. Make it right, Jack. I see. I think he's going to leave out some very important detail. Where's the rest? Big pardon? Mm -hmm. This describes a course that ends miles short of the coast. Oh god, do you not remember? Well, I can't exactly write that down, can I? Well, you all seem rather angry with me. Especially you. <laughs> I say we bring Joji in here. He'll have it out of him in ten minutes. Torture won't help you. I have an exceptionally low tolerance for pain. I'd say anything to make it stop. Take me with you. What if I were to remain with your crew? 
We proceed with your plan. When the time comes for me to reveal the last piece, I will be right by your side. What's to stop me from killing you anyway? That's a few weeks from now, isn't it? We might be friends by then. <laughs> I don't think Flint has any friends, but okay. <laughs> Good enough for you? I guess it will have to be. So, I'm just kind of like thinking this over in my head. Like, <sighs> Silver doesn't seem stupid to me, right? He, he definitely seems like he knows that he seems like he knows what's what. Which means I think it'd be very dangerous for Flint to let Silver kind of just do his own thing on the ship. Because as long as Silver thinks that they're... I mean, I don't believe for a second that Silver thinks that he can just win Flint over with his charm and, you know, personality. I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think Silver is dumb enough to believe that. And even if he did think that it were possible, these guys don't seem like the types that take those kinds of chances. So Silver, like Flint is gonna have to watch Silver very carefully and not let him alone anywhere on that ship because I'm thinking that Silver is going to have some kind of backup plan. Not yet, I don't think he has a backup plan yet, but like he said, he has a few weeks to come up with a backup plan. Which makes me think that at some point Silver is going to betray Flint in some way. Hmm. I don't know how yet. Maybe he doesn't plan on betraying Silver. Maybe he's going to create a wedge between... Uh, not Silver, Flint. Maybe he's going to create a wedge between Flint and the rest of the people on the ship. Especially like Billy and the Quartermaster dude. Okay. That's just my thought. That's just my thoughts. Let me know. Well, don't let me know if I'm right or wrong. But you know if I'm right or wrong, don't you? Oh. Silver, though Singleton, wasn't a thief. Am I the only one that remembers this? No. I forgot about that. And Flint wants to put him back on board. What if he tells the wrong person the truth? You okay? He's all right. <laughs> Hi. You sure he's all right? Billy, he'll be fine. Uh, Mr. Silver here has uh, lost a wager to me. Uh, would you do me a favor and keep an eye on him? Give me a yell if he tries to wander off. Peel. Well, you are supposed to be a cook, so, you know. That's what I'll do if you should wonder. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, yeah, okay. I can't help but notice that you don't seem to like me very much. <laughs> do you mind if I ask why? You're upset because they gave me your job. I'm still trying to figure out how this whole place works myself. And I hear Mr. Singleton making what sounds to me to be a lot of sense. Um, Everyone seems to have forgotten that any of it ever happened. Um, Silver? Do you know of people who still harbor some anger towards the captain? Oh dear. I'd be very curious as to what they had to say. Dear Lord, it didn't take you very long to start backstabbing, huh? Who the fuck are you kidding? It's helped me or flee to Boston. And we made you into the man that you always insisted to them that you were. Think on that. Mm. See, that's why I like her. Oh, who are you? We have a new I was right, person. wasn't I? Billy's been asking around about us. You know Flint lied about Singleton. You know what he is. Silver? Oh no. I've been talking with our friend Randall. See, Silver's in a hard place here though. He can't exactly tell them why he distrusts the captain or how he knows that Singleton wasn't actually a thief without revealing the fact that he himself is not who he says he is and that he has the schedule and, you know, he's keeping it from the crew. So it's not as though he can just be outright mischievous. How are you, Ben? Don't be pleasant with me. I know why you're here. The Lurker de Lima. News travels fast. Time was the thought of taking on a treasure galleon would have gotten you laughed off a crew. Bro, I'm to be Flint's new consort, huh? Is that what it is? 
He couldn't come down here and ask me himself. He doesn't want you as the consort. Your ship and your crew. Is that all? And who exactly is going to captain my ship under these arrangements? Oh, you! Oh, don't say it like that. It's not such a crazy idea. Isn't it? You assume too much. I'm not even certain my men trust me at this stage. They're coming to terms with the very uncomfortable truth. That you can't do this forever? No matter how many stories we convince ourselves we're part of, we're all just thieves awaiting a noose. Hmm. You're the only man I've ever met that's gotten dumber with age. <laughs> I really like the quartermaster dude. He seems so practical, so pragmatic. Who are you? My name is Mrs. Barlow. Flint. Is this last name Barlow? I don't know. I don't think we got his last name. Marcus Aurelius. You read it? You really couldn't just answer that one question? Because I want to know you, who you are to him, too. Listen, if Billy is looking to get laid and they make a Billy Silver thing happen, I'd be okay with that. Like, I'm down. I can, I can, yeah. If Silver hurts Billy, he's dead to me. They are what's left of your mutiny. How do you know? His resentment of the captain runs very, very deep. My lord, Silver, you, you surprise me. And now you're telling me why. Earning your trust seemed like a good start toward that end. Now, he believes there's a witch who lives deep inside the island who controls his every move. <laughs> Seriously? Morley. Morley, I had no idea about. How dangerous can he be? Get up and walk away. <laughs> Quartermasters, we serve our men best when we rise above the fray and see the truth from an unobstructed vantage. But you sound like one desperate motherfucker to me. <laughs> Perhaps instead of uh, pestering me, you should be out there looking for a boat. Don't threaten him. Well, you may have fall now, but at sea. Perhaps you'll oversleep the bells. Perhaps no one will say anything. Of course, they respect you too much for that. Christ almighty, I wish we had a captain of 30 years younger. <sighs> See, this is why I don't like him. He just, he's a snake. He's a rat. He's a sneaky little... I just don't like Jack. Don't like him what's a bit. He knew just what to say to drive that dagger in. Would you give us a moment, please? We're almost done. Just another minute. Dufresne, get the fuck out. Another crew for you to captain? No. Different captain. Comes with his own crew. Really? No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, let's do that. Why? Why are you suggesting this? Dear Lord, Jack really got to you, did he? You will. No, I'm aware of. Then why would you even think? Because no. the Ranger is twice the ship. Where's this coming from? Without the Urka, we have nothing. Sitting without Vane, we don't have the Urka. <sighs> I can't tell if this is him being pragmatic or just insecure. Even if I was. Probably a mix of both. Willing to consider this, and I'm absolutely not willing to consider this. What makes you even think he would do it? If we swallow our pride and help Flint land the Urka, who else on this island stands to benefit? Who else might see you in a different light? Dude, if you think this is a way to get to Eleanor, okay. I will admit Jack is smart, sneaky little devil. But he is smart. He knows how to play the game. Shall we begin? And before we rise above anything, I want to hear your cowardly fuck of a captain apologize for it. 
<clears throat> I'd like a moment to confirm my colleague. <laughs> I like how it's it's like the lawyers talking to their clients. <laughs> that was my fault. Entirely my fault. I should have been clearer when I prepared you for this meeting. Not to worry. Simple setback. Now we have clarity and a unity of vision. I feel good. Alrighty then. And we're back. What Captain Flint meant to say. Captain meant to stay. I can see a small allowance being made for goodwill. How much did you have in mind? Ten thousand pounds. <clears throat> I could just feel his stomach turning over. <laughs> oh, oh dear lord. I, I can't, I can't. I love what uh, the quartermaster and Flint have. It's just, it's such a good, I will say, I said that Flint doesn't have any friends. I think the quartermaster is definitely his friend. Shen half the captain, mom for the ship. Injuries come out of your end. I love how the captains are not like directly speaking to each other. I'd feel much better if our deal had a more impartial guarantor. My father doesn't know about this. I see. But you have my word. His term should be honored. The terms are fine. Okay. And it's good enough for you too. Perhaps it's time you finished cleaning up last night's mess before someone finds out. What on earth are those glasses? It is all yours, Captain. <gasps> no, 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 not Max, not Max, not Max! Please don't be Max, not Max! Not Max? Oh my god, Max. You really think Eleanor is going to forgive you for something like this? What you did. It required an answer. I just do not like you, dude. At all. Oh, I hope she gets her power back and I hope she burns you to the ground. When she's ready, get her on a boat. Captain, this isn't what I meant by cleaning up. You do not kill her. Do not kill her. And do it quietly. Oh, Eleanor. Well, I didn't see this coming. Why? Why, Eleanor? Why? Oh, well, she doesn't know about Max. Which means when she finds out, she's going to feel so bad. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Don't, don't, don't let Max see Eleanor in Vane's tent. It's up to us. We went down with her. I like where this is going, guys. I don't like where this is going. Captain, the man, I need you now. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. This is going to go so... Please don't be dead. Oh, my God. Please, please. No. Oh. You are, all of you, this whole crew, as of right now, 
finished! Sell anything, you will not buy anything! You will not eat anything! No, no, no. Unless you decide right now to elect yourselves a new captain. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Unless you decide to join the crew of Captain Flint. So what will it be? Beggars under an old captain. Or rich men under a new one. Where are you going? Okay, things have, things that, Jesus Christ, things are changing. She hurt him, and she knew how. Get the fuck away from her! We could have left. We could have been free. He didn't do this to me. You did. I don't think Max is ever going to forgive her for this. I think, like, I think there's just, like, a seed of hatred that's going to grow in her heart now. She may burn them all to the ground in the end. Until the dead is paid, I'm yours. Oh, fuck. What the hell just happened? <laughs> is Billy going to kill these guys? I just talk them down. Is my watch up? Yes. You're here to threaten me. And I need to know we're all pulling in the same direction. Singleton was no thief. Singleton stole the page. Saw it with my own eyes. Oh, fuck. I may be wrong about Singleton, but I'm not wrong about Flint. That's because you don't know about Mrs. Barlow. God, who is this woman? Wife, girlfriend, secret affair. Is there a love child? What's going on? May I? Uh, okay. All right, and that was my reaction to season one, episode three of Black Sails. And um, I have to say, so I think what's really standing out to me so far is that there are a lot of characters in this show, like quite a few, but the episodes are very good at focusing on just a few characters at a time, so it's not spread out too much. Like, we got a little bit of Flint, a little bit of Silver, a little bit of Bobby, but I would say like... We got a lot of Jack, we got a lot of the quartermaster, I think his name is Gates. Um, and we got a lot of Eleanor in this episode and what was like what was happening with them, which I liked. And and um Vane. I think it really focused on those characters and the few others were just kind of like background characters. I really like uh how the quartermasters are being portrayed in this show. I don't like Jack, I don't, but I can respect him. He's sneaky, he's conniving, but I he is kind of like gaining my respect because he does seem to be quite clever in how sneaky he is. I don't trust him within an inch of my life, and I think that he is going to be the downfall of one of the characters that I do really like at this point, so I don't like him, but I can respect him. Eleanor continues to be my favorite character, but girl is making some, some interesting choices. That's all I'm going to say. I did not think that she would jump back into bed with Vane so fast just because he made that deal with Flint. Like, I just didn't see that happen. I was like, girl, like two episodes ago, this guy was beating you and now you're... I don't know. Okay, whatever. We all make bad choices. But like, when I saw what they were lining up, the fact that like, she was going to do that with Vane, and then what was going to happen with Max, and the fact that she was going to be right there to see it i was just like mother of god this is this I, that was a scene that i actually had to kind of turn away for um you know i'm i'm not a big fan of that stuff 
being uh, explicitly shown because it's just so barbaric, I think is the only word. I mean, it's just, it's so wrong on so many levels. And then, you know, she took out her revenge in an interesting way. Um, I think it's one of the reasons I continue to like Eleanor is I think it would have been really easy in that moment for the uh, the writers to make her character make a rash decision. And that's what I think, you know, we thought she was going to do for a second where she's like, you're not going to eat, you're not going to have any work, uh, I'm not going to buy from you. And then she turned it into a much more pragmatic decision where it's like, unless you do all these things. And she really pointed her ire at Vane because, you know, I don't think it would hurt Vane too much if she had just said, it's like, well, I'm going to cut you off because Vane has Jack and um, Jack is very intelligent, as I just said. So I think that he would have figured out a way to kind of circumvent that, uh, you know, allow cooler heads to prevail a couple of days after the fact, whereas she kind of cut it off right there at the beginning where she's like, no, I'm not even going to give you the opportunity to crawl back to me. Instead, I'm going to take everything you have right now and give it to Flint. Now, I don't know exactly how that's all going to shuffle out. It looked like quite a few people stayed with Vane and um, I don't exactly know if Vane's ship is now Flint's. I mean, I would assume because it, it, sounded like um the quartermaster uh flint's quartermaster is going to be the new captain of that ship but i mean vane still i think he has a couple of people i think he still has what's her name ann murray i think is her name and he still has jack um and you know i keep saying that like jack is the clever one i think that the uh coming together of the of flint and the Gates, I think his name is Gates, so I'm going to say Gates. The coming together of Flint and Gates and Vane and Jack was very telling of the dynamic that the quartermasters have with the captains. Like, <clears throat> I think that Gates and Jack are really the smart ones on the ships. You know, they are presenting options to the captains and then the captains are the ones who can kind of say yes or no but i don't think the captains would have come up with those options or those ideas on their own so um yeah i think that if vane still has jack on his side he is still in the ring it was very weird that i mean they they kind of explained it somewhat. You know, Max is very angry at Eleanor. So that's why she still went with Jack, or not Jack, with Vane. I just don't know if that makes a lot of sense. Because, I don't know. I mean, she has to know that as long as she's with Vane, there's a very real chance that she could die. But then again, I mean, she might be so pissed at Eleanor that that is an acceptable thing for her. I just think that based on my experience with other shows, I think Max is being set up to be a power player that we just don't know about yet. Um, I think they're going to give her some kind of, you know, Phoenix from the Ashes type of storyline. And I really do see her maybe becoming a massive thorn in the side for Eleanor and Flint. Um, I just, you know, this is, this is the type of thing that I don't think Max ever, ever truly forgives Eleanor for. You know, I don't think she's on Vane's side, but I think she's directing a lot of her anger and frustration and uh, just, yeah, towards Eleanor instead. But who is this woman? Who is this woman that uh, Flint is coupled with? And why is she important to the storyline that the one mutiner, mutiny, the guy who was uh, Billy was talking to, why is she important to the storyline of showing Billy how Flint isn't a reliable captain or how he's... I wonder if Flint had a ship before... Uh, 
the ship he's on now and she knows the story of that maybe he abandoned that ship and just kind of left them all or maybe he killed everyone i don't know jack not jack flint is a mystery there's just there's clearly a huge backstory there that the show is being very careful not to tell us you know like <clears throat> um there were plenty of times where uh eleanor's dad asked that woman who she is and she purposely dodged the question and then even when that mutineer per, mutiny person is talking to Billy, the camera and everything cuts away so that we can't really hear what he's being told. So the story is 100% hiding who she is and her relationship to Flint. So, I mean, yeah, they're, they're very purposely keeping his secret or his past a secret, which makes me want to know what it is. <laughs> but all right. <clears throat> like if you would like to like the full version will be in the description and you can talk to me on discord if you would like and stop pirating bye